Hey, good morning YouTube. My name is Rachel and I am a full-time stay-at-home mom and a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, Etsy, and Facebook Marketplace. If you are new to my channel, um, my shop and business name is Lily Works and I am uh, a reseller of mostly shoes and belts and jewelry and other accessories. You guys might notice my uh, big black eye. <laughs> Um, I was editing some videos downstairs and the lights were off and I tripped going up the stairs and bashed my head into my laptop and I just sat on the floor crying. My husband came and um, now I have a black eye. So yeah, that explains that. So let's get into what sold over the weekend. I know I made more than 700 I will put it up here but no belts sold which is kind of crazy so I have um, a lot of shoes and some jewelry and then a hard good and yeah so the shoes are doing well for me this weekend let's get into it So first of all, I have this dragon right here, and if you are new to my channel, I don't really sell hard goods, but I won this in an auction. I tried my first high bid, high bid auction lot, and they were um, auctioning off a property, so I initially just wanted, sorry if this makes you dizzy. Um, these vintage purses right here and then I decided that I was going to um, bid on some other things to make it worth my while to drive and so we picked them up and um, the apartment smelled really strong of cat but nothing like these do not smell at all which is great and what's interesting is um, like my husband collected a lot of things like dragons and stuff and then we just got rid of it all and now he's like what is this and i got like egypt egyptian art and all the things that he likes so i was like um i'm selling that so this actually sold right away on mercari for 25 dollars. i paid 822 shipping making my earnings 16.78 i paid probably about a dollar for this um, I paid $50 for everything I got. I got a shop vac. I got some huge brat, or I, I guess steel art. And I have to look into that a little bit further. Maybe I'll put um, a pic picture up for you guys. Um, see if that's worth anything. Uh, bird bath, those vintage purses, some ornate boxes, and a cloisonne vase that I really, well, a cloisonne style vase that I really liked. But yeah, so that was my first um, trip and that was a success. So yeah, I'm gonna get into the jewelry. I grabbed almost all of them from my inventory. I'm just going to grab a couple more with you. From my miscellaneous, I sold some button covers, which is so weird because in the same weekend, I sold two different lots of button covers which this lot had been sitting for a while and sold on um, eBay. And then this one sold on Etsy. So that is really interesting. Let's see. So it is a lot of hearts and then a lot of just um, all the same ornate button covers. So that was interesting. And then the last thing was my biggest sale this weekend, a Swarovski necklace. And it I keep all of my pearl type necklaces and things here. 
So. All right, so here it is. This is a Swarovski pearl necklace, and there are those beautiful blue Swarovskis right there. And yeah, this one was new old stock, so it still had the tag um, Feline's Basement. So it was $24.99 back, I don't know, 80s maybe. And um, this came in a shop Goodwill lot for probably less than a dollar. And this actually came in a lot where I paid, I think I bid like $15 and won the bid. And so I probably paid like um, a little bit over $20 to have it shipped. And yeah, so this necklace in itself sold for $159 on Etsy. I paid $10.19 shipping because I did insure it and send it priority mail instead of first class, making my earnings $148.81. So yeah, this one was really great. It does have the Swarovski Swan right there. I believe the older Swarovski is um, marked S-A-L, and then this one has the Swan. Okay, so these heart button covers I got in a jewelry jar. I just kept finding more different um, of these, I guess, styles of the hearts, and it sold for $15 on eBay. I paid $3.58 shipping, making my earnings $11.42. This I got in a brooch lot from Shop Goodwill for less than a dollar. It has this really pretty iridescent look to it. The buyer made me an offer of $15.20 because she said there was a lot of wear to the metal, but I think that's the look, but I accept it anyway. Um, it has like a really artisan whimsical look. Sold for $15.20. This one came in a Shop Goodwill lot. Again, new with tags. It does have genuine stone. Erica Lyons is kind of not like a amazing brand or anything like that but this was like really neat and boho uh tribal looking and new with tags so i did take a best offer of 22 on ebay and buyer paid shipping this i just listed because i thought the colors were cool and i did put cobalt blue in my title maybe that's why it sold but just some dyed shell necklace and it sold for 13 on posh making my earnings 833 paid less than a dollar here are some earrings that i just got in um that well you guys haven't seen it yet but i had a um, huge shop goodwill haul where one of my videos is probably going to be exclusively earrings because that's how many earrings i got so these actually sold for 15 dollars um, minus the 348 shipping sold on Mercari, making my earnings 11.52, and I definitely paid less than a dollar for these because I got so many earrings. I have listed over 100 pairs so far just from that one lot, <clears throat> and that was just the earrings. I had bracelets and all kinds of things. So the Swarovski necklace we did. These sold on Etsy. Just three simple button covers. I did get this in a Shop Goodwill lot. And this is where your button can just slip right in. Um, people can use these for cosplay, renaissance, revival, stuff like that. Sold for 15, I paid 348, making my earnings 11.52. Here is a Chico's um, pendant necklace. So it's, I think I had this one in one of my unboxings. Or no, this one came from the antique store. So I had this in a video um, where I was showing my haul. But yeah, it's just a a lot of different beads wrapped into this pendant with wire. Sold for $26 on Etsy, making my earnings $19.08. And I think I paid about a dollar. I um I know I mentioned in the video, but it was probably a dollar or two. And then these earrings sold. And they sold for $16 on uh Poshmark making my earnings 11.08 and I paid less than a dollar for these. These are some elephant earrings. Um, I 
think that someone might have put these on the lever back, just the elephants, but pretty cool nonetheless. And yeah, so that is what I have for my jewelry going out. I'm gonna put what I um, earned for my jewelry up on the screen, and then we are going to go grab some shoes. So yeah, starting off with these Nike black sneakers. These just sold this morning. 20 minutes after listing for $26, making my earnings $20.08. And I just listed them, so they're in my just listed basket. Here they are, they're women's size six. These are actually my sister-in-law's shoes that she um, just gave me. She has two pairs and she grew out of them a little bit, a little bit snug for her because she just had a baby and that is something that tends to happen with women that happened to me and yeah so that was a nice quick sale she didn't know if I would be able to sell them but I texted her and was like yeah they sold 20 minutes after and so I still have the blue pair up and my husband was fortunate enough to empty mo most of my bins well all the bins for me yesterday and then put them on the racks and then yeah this is some jewelry that I have yet to list. I just sort and organize into bags. And then I have some jewelry down there that's going into a craft lot. But I spent a little bit this weekend trying to organize a bit. Um, yeah, so let's get these Teos sandals. My husband should have put them back here in the sandal area. He helps me because his schedule is kind of crazy so when I have the kids here they are um when I have the kids all day until like nine o'clock at night he knows like hey sometimes my wife needs help um just for my sanity's sake and then summer's coming up where he trains teachers for summer school and recruits teachers for summer school and that even gets more hectic. So yeah, these Teo sandals I just listed like same day I think they sold for $35 on eBay. I picked them over the bins for $2. That's a great brand to pick up. Now these Lisa Tucci boots. Let's see, I've had these a long time. They're a really pretty burgundy ankle boot. Really nice quality. Okay, so here they are. Oh my gosh, they feel really nice. So this is what they look like. Really cool ankle detail. And they are a smaller size, so I think that's probably why they took forever to sell. Really neat heel. Okay, so these... I actually picked up um, from Thread Up, and I don't even remember how much, but I picked them up because they're really neat and they were in the unbranded section. So if they look really neat and high quality leather and they're unbranded, um, usually they keep lowering the price because people are like, okay, they, that doesn't have a brand. So I picked these up for pretty cheap, I think less than $10 and then took a chance that it would be a, a good brand once it came to me. And uh, even though it is Italian, it's not like a highly sought after brand and then a smaller size, but they did sell for $40 and the buyer did pay shipping. So I did make a profit on that, but yeah, definitely not a brand to look out for by any means, but the quality definitely is there. All right, some Clark's sandals. Those sold for 15, or I'm sorry, 16, and I picked them up at the bins. Probably listed them like a week ago. All right, and here they are. They're just the Cloud Stepper Black Elastic. Clark's sandals. I took a best offer of 16 on eBay. Some Banana Republic flats. These sold on eBay for 26. I paid 
$6.28 for flat rate shipping. Are these them? No, those are not them. Let's see. Here they are. I picked them up at the bins because they felt like really nice quality and a cute Dorsey style. Here they are, Banana Republic. So my earnings on these were $19.72. I did pick these up at the bins. Um, the reason that almost all of these are scribbled out now is because I was going through them and I realized that I made a mistake on one um, when I was writing what they were on the label. I made a mistake with one, so I had to go back and make sure that the names lined up with what they bought. So here's one, here's the other. Yeah, so a nice little profit on some Banana Republic cute shoes. All right, these red cowboy boots sold within a couple hours of listing for $50. I paid about $4 at the bins. And um, I had these in my cart, so I haven't been going to the bins that often, just with having kids and not having time to go and things like that and they're kind of like packed full of young um, high school kids now but um, I did pick these up and I kept getting comments like oh those are so cool they are not perfect by any means where like you can see um, on the toes and right there and there's some discoloration but yes they are red eel skin um, embroidered boots they are a men's I think six and a half, which also makes it a women's size eight. So I listed it as both. These remind me of Jessie from Toy Story. So if someone was dressing up as Jessie, that would be perfect. So I got an offer right away for 50 and I did accept that. Um, here's an orange peel. I did accept that offer and um, the, I, I, there was like uh, some girls that were like, oh, those are really cool boots. And I was in line to check out and I said, you can have them. Like, I have no problem unless like it's something that's going to give me a lot of money. But usually I'm like, yeah, go ahead. If they're, if it's someone that likes them and they want them. So they're trying them on, but they're like kicking them to shove their foot in because they didn't fit them and, and like they're like I'm just like oh my gosh if you don't want them don't do that to them and then one girl who was a size eight and a half finally got her got her foot in and and she was like yeah these are like a size eight they don't fit me and so yeah I ended up taking them home and listing them and they sold right away but yeah so that was interesting all right some structure men's boots Alright, here are the Structure Men's Boots. These um, took a while to sell. They did sell for $25 on eBay and the buyer did pay shipping. I have sold um, Structure Belts as well, but it's not like a fast brand to sell. So I, I paid probably about $3 for them at the bins. Let's see if we have any near us. Men's Clark boots. These did have some damage, more damage than I realized once I got home. So I listed them low and they sold for $20 on Poshmark, making my earnings $16. And I picked these up at the bins for probably $3. Alright, so here they are. 
these did not have insoles so that was one thing which doesn't bother me a lot my husband puts his own insoles into shoes I know other people do that so I mean if you price it accordingly they still can sell but yeah so I had to definitely clean these up a little bit but overall they're in okay condition still definitely wearable has like a distressed look and so I think that's a pretty good deal for $20. Some nice quality Clarks. These Dansko clogs. Those I think are right here. Yep. These are really nice condition. These sold for $53 on Poshmark. My Posher VA sent out an offer. I think they were probably listed for $59. That offer was accepted, making my earnings $40.68, and I picked these up at the bins. A little bit different style than the traditional nursing clogs, which makes them kind of fun. But yeah, really great condition. Really nice profit for those. They did take a little bit to uh, sell, though. Ooh, okay. These Y2K boots I just listed got an offer same day for 65 took that off offer making my earnings 52 and I picked these up at the bins I kind of sat around um, with them for a while because I didn't want to list them there were some marks but then I was like you know what they're vintage they're crazy I'm just gonna grab them and I probably paid like around four dollars for them at the bins and yeah so let's go grab them they're probably hanging somewhere my husband just put them away. Let's see if we can spot any crazy looking boots. No, oh, I see them. Here we go. There they are. Definitely Y2K style. So we have these boot clips that I just got from Amazon. And I just hang them up. So yeah, there is a little bit of marks on the faux suede, but yeah. Definitely vintage. They have that vintage lining in there. And that was a really nice profit from the bins. These Echo Golf Shoes also were another quick flip. I got these at the bins for about $3. Cleaned them up. The, um... They sold probably next day um, on Facebook Marketplace or same day. Same day or next day. Facebook Marketplace and they sold for $40. I paid $8.98 shipping making my earnings $31.02. And this is definitely something that does sell fast for me. So let's take a look at these. So Echo Shoes. Um have soles that like suck in the dirt I don't know if you guys can see oh there we go and you like can't get it off so around the outside and you can see where there was scuffing where that it still has that white there but then it turns yellowish and it happens to so many echo shoes or eco whatever they're called but these have these spikes these dull spikes on the bottom because these are golfing shoes and they're a hybrid spikeless golf, golf shoe which is becoming really popular um, the last few years the hybrid golf shoes so I think that's why these sell right away especially because it's the season these have the nice leather insoles so yeah not in perfect shape because of that discoloration but still a really great flip for um, the 31.02 and only paying $30 for them. So yeah, let's get into the rest of this stack. All right, so I just grabbed these. Um, my mom is staying for 20 more minutes. So I have to get these packaged up before she heads out. <laughs> so um, we have a bunch of Clarks going out. These Clark Oxfords I almost couldn't find. My husband put them in the sneaker area. You can see I have a few more uh, Clark's that he put over there right there um, but here they are these sold for $21.99 and 
uh, they were they sold on eBay and they paid shipping and I picked these up at the bins for about two dollars these I picked up at the bins these Clark's Artisan Peep Toe, they sold for $25 on Mercari. I paid $8.45 shipping, making my earnings $16.75. I picked these up at the bins for about $2. These are so nice. They have like a really nice um, squish pad for your ankle. And the only flaw is right here on the inside. So I did take a picture of that ding right there. But otherwise, these are in great shape. These black Ugg wedges I picked up at the bins. I've had them for a while since last season. They didn't sell last season, but now they sold. So here they are, some espadrille wedges. These sold for $30 on eBay, and I picked them up at the bins for about $2. I have some blue suede wedges, Ugg wedges that I picked up in a thread up box. I still have those. These I picked up at Goodwill. I don't remember what I paid. I'm thinking $6.99 since that's the average. But these are some Mojo Moxie shoes. I should not have picked them up, but they were in such great shape. They did pick them up. They actually were new when they still had the stuffing in them and everything. Um, so they're cute. They, uh, that they, the brand Mojo Moxie is known for, like, to be more trendy, but these just took a while. So these sold for $49.88. I paid $9.12 shipping, making my earnings $40.76. So I did make earning on these, but I thought they would sell faster. These Clark's White Wedges. Um, these sold for $45 on Poshmark, making my earnings $36. I did pay um, up for these at Goodwill, the regular Goodwill, and I actually have three pairs of the exact same ones. A bronze pair, a black pair, and then these white ones, and these sold. I did get a discount on them, so I think I paid $5.56 for these because I had a birthday discount. I didn't know, so when I got to, up to the register, they said, do you wanna use your birthday discount? And I was like, yes. I probably would have bought a lot more if I knew that I could get 20% off. So this was a nice um, pickup for these really nice Clarks. I don't tend to always pick up Clarks at the regular Goodwill, but I think, were these the ones that were new? Yeah, these are new. And there's one that's not new. So there's two of them that were brand new and then one that wasn't. So yeah, and it's perfect season for those. So that was a nice profit. And then lastly are these soft brown heels, soft with two Fs. I do like picking up this brand at the bins. It is really nice quality. I would say on par with Clark's and a nice comfort brand. These sold for $26 on Poshmark making my earnings 2080 and I picked these up at the bins for two. So I will put up my shoe earnings up on the screen. All right, so that is our um, weekend of sales. It was pretty great. We had some nice sales, the necklace and the boots, those couple pairs of boots were awesome. And some weeks I sell, or I'm listing a lot of belts and jewelry and then I notice that I, sell a lot of those so I haven't I only listed I think one belt this week and so I didn't even sell any belts um, which is kind of rare but yeah and I listed a ton of shoes I finally got to like that area of shoes and I sold a lot of shoes um, so some newer shoes and some that have been sitting a while so yeah if you like these kind of videos make sure to give this video a thumbs up make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next week thanks bye